Link 2012. There's a lot of spawners around here that are giving me trouble. So I built this pickaxe that should allow me to just drill through everything. I think that we'll come back through here and collect all the iron blocks later on. Okay, I just need this. Pickaxe, thank you. Alright, uh, I'm gonna drink one of these. That way we can more easily take these fellows down. I believe that fire is actually in the original Netherwalls map. I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> At least it's in the orange, so that makes it easier to find for normal players. Oh, great. Oh, hey, there's some gold blocks right there. That's nice. It looks like there's still some fellow spawning over here. The question is where? Ah, below the bridge. This reminds me of the under the bridge area. Hey, and it's all running super smoothly right now, as you can see. I'm not sure if this is because of the new Optivine version. I also uh, changed my computer's boot up settings slightly. On optimal performance, according to the BIOS. But who knows? Could not be that. Alright, looks like there's some more fellows over here. I'm just trying to take down all these spawners so I can mine without a problem. But these pickaxes are in low supply. Oh, holy moly, that is, uh, that is some fun stuff. Yeah, get the creepers in the lava, take the thing here. Boy! That was unexpected. Oh, they have a short fuse and a large explosion radius. So, mmm, Candyland. Yes, Candyland. This was a great area. Um, uh, this was one of our one of the one of the fan favorites for in terms of uh, walls maps. And there was an easy enchanting table. Well, there's an enchanting table on every area, but this one. Oh, holy smokes! They're starting to carry creepers. That's what this is about. It was an easily accessible enchanting area. <laughs> What? How on earth did I get through? Okay, at least they got the creepers undone. Nope, nope, nope. I'm out of here. I don't know where they're spawning from right now, but all I know is it's really unsafe for me to stay in there. I wish I had a sorted skull, really. Because that portion between the nether nether area and the candy land's pretty hard. Oh, these guys do some damage. They do a hard damage, which isn't very much, actually. We just have a pickaxe. And we don't have any more room for pickaxes, sadly. We really need to find the spawners here. Now is my haste... Okay, good. My haste is quite well... works quite well with my diamond pickaxe. So let's just look out for where they're spawning. Right there. Got him. Sweet. One more spawner down. Ah, okay, so there's some spawning over here somewhere. I thought I saw some fire go off down there, which is a sign that they're spawning. Oh, right there. Oh no, that's just my, uh, that's just my demon scale. Oh boy, they explode a ways away. But they're actually sort of... 
right there. You saw that, right? Somewhere here. Why did I make this bond range on these so big? I guess I, I, I just, I'm upping the difficulty at this point in time. I'm still confused though. over there. Oh, nuts. Oh, I'm gonna do something over here. Nuts, nuts, nuts. Okay, at least they killed each other. Nice. I don't know how much longer I can survive this, though. With the giant spawn range and radius of these spawners. It's killing me. Cool. I'll gladly take those. I don't know if I did these veins randomly or if... No, I'm pretty sure I did these veins randomly. Can't remember what method I used, though. I want to get back out. <laughs> Alright, let's chill here for a minute. All right, right there, some people spawned. Oh, Slash came out. I think it's just from coming out, though. Seeing as one of them had a creeper, and the creepers don't exist until this area, right? This little portion right here. I really don't know how to tackle this. I don't know where the spawners are is the issue. <laughs> Okay, there's spawners from right there and right there. No, 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 no. Okay, well. I can't even see the name on those creepers. They explode so quickly. Nuts. I just want to get through here. Up a little bit. Ah. Nope, no, no, no. Gotta leave. Gotta get out of here now. Really low health. Two more hits and I'm probably dead. It's it's really cool though, because it's like one of the uh one of the, the one of these things, except right here. And they have a bunch of torches where the auto tor torch placement's working. Oh did I yeah, I, I think I showed you guys a neuron in a previous episode. Alright. Area contested. Let's get a bit re more regen. And let's go. Oh, the chest plate having thorns is actually bad because the 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 Chest plate normal. Right, so I know that there's some spawners around here somewhere. Why are you aware though? I'm guessing that the spawners on this one are a little bit more far out. I think I remember making the ranges on those. So that way it would be a really tricky endeavor to find them. Okay. I think they have to spawn on... I think the creepers are, the, are what's spawning, though. So that's a little bit difficult for the... ...miners. Here. This is, I think there's about two more of these 
areas. You know, we have another area, then we're gonna have the Candyland area, and then one of the more original the walls maps as well. On the bright side, we're getting lots of XP bottles from all these guys, and quite a bit of XP too. Oh, my my strength ran out. Looks like. Oh, and I don't have mining fatigue for some reason. I'm only getting it certain times. I guess when the I'm guessing when the miners hit me, that's when I get it. Some of them are spawning right here. I don't see anything here. This is the issue. Well, it seems like the spawn rates decrease now that I've lit it up so much, which is good. I'm still gonna have issues though. Now, I do hear some guys in a roof somewhere. Yeah, like that guy right there, I just pulled out of the roof. So we know that there's some secrets around here. Uh, and these are the exact same secrets, whatever we find here, as in the walls map. I didn't add anything here. It's all the same as the original. Perfect. So we got a little regen pool right here. Yeah, it looks like these uh, the spawners in this portion are universal, uh, meaning that they'll spawn to anywhere in this area that's dark. So since we lit it up, there's no more problems. <laughs> We're gonna come back through here later in order to once we complete this area, we're gonna come back through to do everything. I think there's something over here though. I wanna go over here. Oh, this is the area where you collect. Oh no, this is this is the actual next portion. Yep, right there. You see? Lit up. Man, I thought I lit him on fire. Okay, so it, the arrow grabs a random mob with a, a certain amount of blocks, so it doesn't actually always grab the one I want, aka the creeper. Right. I know that these really help, and you see that this is a trap chest, so we need to be, we're, we can't, we really shouldn't open it, um, without money under it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this will allow us to make a ton of golden apples. I remember when testing this map, one of the things was, uh, you, you could get yeah, so that was just a cool firework. Um, you get lots of gold like these, but you couldn't get golden apples. So what we're probably going to do is we're just going to make a bunch of golden apples, and that's going to be our next food. And we'll be able to make that by mining gold out from this area. Yeah, I know you don't like me. Uh, oh, yeah, so these guys just keep stacking up. And at this point, they are... You get creepers, and then, okay, this is actually the last portion. So once you get blazes, that's it. That's the hardest part. Okay, let's go mine some, uh, some iron. I hear some guys down here. Yeah, it looks like they're spawning up, since they can't spawn down here anymore. Let's get, get, let's get all the iron that we can find. This iron is worth a, a bunch. Not quite as much as the gold, though. Because if we make golden apples, then those will just last us for a really long time. I thought I saw a spawner up here. It's not. Ouch! With my face. Yeah, this is really taking a toll on us. 
But the iron blocks! I want the iron blocks! Oh, do, am I out of... Okay, I'm out of haste. Come on! How many... And did I drop anything? No, I didn't. But I am low on health now. These guys just never give up! There's just so many! Oh! Who made this area? I did. Why? At least now I have resistance too. And I'm regening quite fast. So let's go get the iron and get out of here. You can get a lot of XP here too, thanks to the uh, nether quartz. I'm pretty sure I hid chests in all of these portions too. Uh, dedicated to the different blocks you were mining. So if you were mining a lot of gold, for instance, you'd get a gold chest, or in this case, you'd get an iron, iron chest. Actually, you know what? I think... Oh, I remember how I did this. So in the walls map, there was... There were veins. So you see how there, in the original map, you would want all the different veins. Uh, for instance, iron veins. There were a lot of iron veins. And I replaced all of the iron veins with actual I full iron things. Full iron um, blocks. And that's what you see. So if in the original map there was a vein, in this map there will be iron veins. Now I wonder if there's anything under this gravel. It is suspicious. Nope. I think there might be a universal spawner here too, because there's so many of these guys. I think we're gonna grab a bunch of gold later on. Because I wanna finish up this portion. I don't know where the spawners are though, that's the issue. At the very least, lighting this up is not so much. Oh. There we go. Perfect. Alright, dig. I have to dig through here. So some people don't know when there were... This is from the original Waltz map. Um, and this was my favorite map. <laughs> here we get some TNT. Oh, yes, I remember that. There's actually something like that in the original map. All the secrets from the walls uh, in this little area are in this map, and I'll show you some of them, of course. Oh, come on, I want to get the blaze. We're trying to light everything up, that way they don't spawn down uh, in this portion. Oh, this is such a long road to get to here. Okay, you might experience a short lag spike right about now. Yeah, you see all this lag? Yeah, because it's loading in a bajillion heads. And here's the plate and stuff for the next area. Oh, yep. Sweet. Oh, we can drop this off. That's very helpful. Iron blocks, we want to drop that off for sure. Also, stuff in the chest, we stuff in them. Diamond sword. And that goes back to Recovered Haven. So this is actually Epic Beats. Unfortunately, there's a bit of lag, but these, uh, the, these, these cool villagers, uh, nod their heads to the beat. These guys give you blank slips, and then they also give you supply keys. This guy gives you unbreakable diamond items. And unbreakable legendary items, in exchange for archangels heads. Archangels are pretty cool. Yeah, and we're, we're going to want some of those in the future. Uh, 
important information. Let's read this. We're gonna, of course, go back. We gotta get all the secrets in that area. We've gotta get all the, the, the gold blocks. That way we can make gold apples. I wanna have gold apples as my food from here on out, really. In this area, chests require special keys to be opened. You can purchase keys from the villager and use them as many times as you need. Because the chest, because of chests, TNT does not work in this area and mob griefing is false. Additionally, you are not allowed to break chests. If you break a chest, you will be killed. This is a rather difficult. This area is rather difficult, so prepare well. I provided you with mines for resources, and if you need bottles of enchanting, there are plenty in the back of them back and glitched. Yeah, so all the the right. Okay, this just takes it off. This, this takes us off. Perfect. And this and this is unlocked. Ah. Teleporter unlocked. Main attraction. Ah. Sweet. And this is warning, do not break glass until you are ready. It is recommended that you complete glitched first to avoid lag. Yes, yeah, so that activates a bunch of redstone for special items. And as a result, just imagine. All right, so we're gonna need a, a silk touch pickaxe to, oh, wait a minute. We do have silk touch on this. What am I thinking? Get all these diamond blocks, because I want to Uh, be able to use, uh, what is it, fortune on them?